ladies and gentlemen. This vlog I have been really excited for and I've nicknamed this one the boys at Silver Dollar City. As you can see we got wildfire and powder cake front and center and I have never gotten these cool views of either of these two rides from outside the park before. And uh, I'm going to be getting some views of these rides uh, before heading into the park today. And I'll be here for a part of today and also the next two days. And I say the boys of Silver Dollar City because Ellis and Ryan will be joining me over the next couple days. So they'll be exciting to get on uh, some of these rides and uh, especially get a redemption visit after the last time because I'll post a link to my uh, last vlog from Silver Dollar City so you guys can check that out. And if you saw that, then you know that basically nothing was open all day because it was way too cold. It's going to be in the 90s, upper 90s, if not low 100s over the next few days. And Ellis is going to be getting his first ever rides on Time Traveler because he was last year, I think in 2017. So it'd be cool to get his thoughts on that and uh, get on Outlaw Run, Powder Keg, and Wildfire again. See how they all run. So let's go and have an awesome experience here with these two boys. And also my brother Scott will be joining me as well. So yeah, like I said before, this is The Boys at Silver Dollar City. Heading to the entrance of Silver Dollar City now, and I, I know what you're probably thinking, dude, why don't you just take the trams or the buses to get there? It's kind of lame if you ask me. Plus, the breeze is quite nice right now, even though it's not coming right this very moment when I'm speaking. It feels nice when it does come. A couple of uh, other things to say before I get interrupted by like the audio and the trams or whatnot. Since I was last here, I made two trips to Dollywood, and that is the closest park I would compare Silver Dollar City to. Following both of my vlogs from my uh, experiences at Dollywood this year, in the description of this one too, and it's Jesus Hill's killing me. Probably should have taken another thing about it, but whatever. And also, since the last time I rode Wildfire, I have not only gotten a horrible ride on Kumba, but also 39 amazing rides on Hulk. So that'd be cool to compare Wildfire to both of those and to see how it holds up, because I don't know if I'll walk off impressed or disappointed this time, because if it's anything like Hulk, it'll be awesome. And from outside the park, I saw it looked like it was flying, so I'm intrigued to see how that one runs. Last time I rode it in 2021, I was really impressed, and it was one of my favorite rides of the day, honestly. So let's see if it's running good today. And uh, checking the Silver Dollar City app before I started getting some footage and whatnot, it said that almost every coaster here was a five minute wait or less. The only exceptions, I think, were Powder Keg and Fire in the Hole, so Time Traveler was a lock on. And I got two rides on that, once in the front car, once in the back car last time, because they only have one train running on it, and that line was huge. So I'm going to go over and I think do that first, and if that line as long i'll go right out i'll run first so let's head inside the park ozark mountain summer celebration that should remind me to another point i forgot to mention the last three times i've been here have all been in the winter so i haven't seen this park with uh the leaves on the trees in forever i mean the trees might have been like i guess like colored because like autumn when i was here in november but i've never seen the park like this since 2017 so it's pretty cool to see this park like this and the time travel i found out from my mom who is already in there she just told me that uh, time travel is walk on with two trains. So let's hope that's the case when I get over there. And I don't know how many laps I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do at least two front and back car. Maybe do something else, some like another ride in the front, another ride in the back, something like that. But let's go get time traveler a couple tries while we're here. Man, is it nice to see time traveler actually open for once? It was closed all last time. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be back on this one. My second favorite mock coaster I've done is Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. And I've done that twice on uh, two separate trips. So I actually have done, uh, I think five rides on it in total. Over the course of uh, two trips, I did one last year and then I did another one about a month and a half ago. I'm intrigued to see how time travel will hold out to them. So, oh yes, this ride's gonna be awesome. We've got two trains, got one right there, one in the station. So let's go do this and see how this ride is. Wow, none of the lower queue houses filled at all. This is what I like to see. And uh, 
Oh yeah, first time I've seen time travel with all the leaves growing around it, so that's kind of cool. Later on in this vlog, I'll be getting some footage of the time travel, but since Louie Walker, at least to my knowledge, let's go take a ride and look at that. I don't think there's anyone upstairs either. This is awesome. Jackpot. No one assigning rows. Let's go. I'm gonna try the front row first. I uh, need a redemption ride the front row because last time I faced back with one time of here, it wasn't that good. So yeah, I'm gonna see if the front's any better. Maybe I'll try the back row. There's literally no line for this. Time traveler, front car, awesome ride right there. Broad building wasn't as good as I was uh, kind of expecting, but then I was in the front car. I'm literally going to try back car right now. It was still a decent drop. Uh, the hang time before dropping was cool. The twisted hill that got me as I kind of expected. And then the little bunny hill before the second launch. It was firing today. I like I don't ever recall the airtime on that one being that strong. It was just crazy. I did face backwards a lot of the ride, but it was still really fun. Now let's try the back car on it and see how wild it is back there. Rode Time Traveler three more times, did one more in the front, and then I did two rides in the back. The first of the two rides in the back, I was spinning like crazy. And oh my gosh, it was just demented. And uh, now we're gonna go try Outlaw Run, and I have not ridden that one yet. And, uh, since I've written this, I've done other RMCs like Iron Gwazi, Air Force One, Wildcat Revenge, and then obviously Lightning Rod. So I gotta compare Lightning Rod to Outlaw Run, which I'll do after I give uh, Outlaw Run a few tries. So let's go see how good Outlaw Run is and if it's as good as I remember, because my last rides on this were Moon Light Night Rides, like the moon was positioned right inside of the first inversion, which is crazy. So I'm excited to see how Outlaw Run holds up. So let's go do that. I was really excited to get several night rides on it over the course of the few days I'll be here. So yeah, Outlaw Run's got a great night ride. Oh, we got some portholes down here. Might have to try that later on, but uh, that's not important. Outlaw Run is what's important, so let's go there. There's that epic RMC. Let's go see how it runs. vicious that RMC is. Definitely rougher than I remembered, but that is still one of the world's best wind coaches right there. Oh my word. <laughs> I'm at a loss of words. And if, uh, yeah, that's flying, I can't wait till uh, later on tonight when it's like fully dark out, just how insane I'll be running then. Did a ride in the front row, now I'm gonna try a ride in the second to last row because the very last row is on wheel seat, and I do remember wheel seat being brutal on this ride last time I rode it, so let's go try the second to last row, see how it compares, but man, that was insane. I like the front a little bit more, but the second back row is still really good. I actually found the second back to be a bit smoother than the very front, which I was uh, kind of surprised about. I remember the front row being a little smoother, so I don't know. Front row and second back row at Outlaw Run are both elite ride experiences. And uh, yeah, we cannot go wrong with either one. So let's try the front row again. Just rode 
outlaw run in the front row twice in a row and that thing is just sheer power from start to finish that is some of the best power of any rmc in my opinion and i know this may seem controversial but i ranked outlaw run ahead of wildcats revenge at hershey park them up stop wheels you can really hear them in the front row especially on the wave turn it's like madness how much you can actually hear it, but I'm like, geez, why is it so loud? So yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna go make my way over towards Powder Keg, and before I do that, I'm actually gonna take a ride or two on Fire in the Hole, which this is its last year of operation, so I'm getting some of my last few rides I'll ever get on the original before the inevitable, I guess, Fire in the Hole 2.0, people are saying, gets announced and built. So yeah, let's go uh, take a couple spins on Fire in the Hole on the way to Powder Keg. <laughs> The pan at the airport. Powder keg is not happening right now. They're only running one train, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna hold off on this in line. It's like that whole Q house and went down the station. So the app says it's a 30 minute wait with one train. I'm skeptical. So I'll hold off on that one until later on. But what I could do now is go and try fire in the hole again. I saw it was like a 20 minute wait. So I don't know. Maybe that's the case, but I don't know. I'll go check that out. And if that line uh, doesn't move too fast, I'll go actually go try wildfire because I do want to ride wildfire. So let's go check fire in the hole. If that's a fairly short line, I'll get on it. Otherwise, I'll go try wildfire. Quite intense, actually, which is not something I remember from this ride. In 2021, it was like decently intense, but not as intense as it was. That being said, I would not say it is anywhere nearly as intense as Hulk. But I will say, and I know this is going to be controversial, Wildfire was way more intense than Kumba was. If you saw either of my Bushcars Tampa vlogs, you know I thought Kumba wasn't intense, like it was forceless. Especially my most recent trip there last year. While I was going up the lift hill, I saw an empty train on powder cake cycle. So that tells me that they might be going back into two train ops, which if that's the case, that's great because that line was long and they only had one train running. So I'll check back up the powder cake here after a while, see what that line is like powder cake broke down so i'm gonna go try wildfire again and try the back of the train this time see how it is back there and then uh that way i'll be able to tell if i hear uh powder keg testing or not because uh the ride runs pretty close to wildfire so i'll be able to hear the sounds of it launching from over near wildfire and then also i'm gonna start getting some shots of it when the sun starts to go down because that's definitely the best time of day to get some uh, good wildfire shots in my opinion is when the sun starts to set so let's go over to Wildfire, take a back row right on that, and then start getting some footage and maybe some pictures of it as well. We'll wait for Powder Cake to hopefully reopen. If Powder Cake doesn't reopen anytime soon after, I might just go to Outlaw Run and marathon that until closing, honestly. So, well, maybe not right until closing, but at least for some of the time. So, yeah, let's go over and uh, try Wildfire again. Wildfire also went down, but I think I heard Powder Cake testing from over near there. So, I came back here to see if they'll open it. So, let's give it a shot. Let's do this. Front row on powder keg. Got a nice front row ride on powder keg and it's literally a walk on. It's never like this from my experience. So gotta take advantage of it and do it a second time because well it's a good ride. As far as I was running, launch, uh, it was kind of weak in comparison to Storm Runner and uh, King Cow, which I rode earlier this month as when I'm recording this. So yeah, it wasn't as good as I remembered. Also, it was running a lot rougher than what I'm used to. Like it was uh, shuffling from side to side a decent amount. So gonna have to try front left because I was on front right and uh, see how front left is. Let's go for round three. What the heck? Round two was a lot smoother than the first one. And I think it might have had to do with which side I was on. I was on the left side just now. That made a world of difference in my opinion. So let's try, uh, I guess, uh, the left side. But yeah, good thing I'm going to do this a couple times beforehand because now the line's up to here, which it's not like I don't know. But this ride, it could be so much worse. Like it could be way back there, which is probably looking to be there at some point. But as of now, I like where it's at. Welcome back to 
Third ride on powder keg was by far the best of the three. It was uh, the fastest, I felt like smoothest, and the laterals in that one section with the old Buzz Saw Falls track was amazing. And uh, yeah, I was really impressed with it. I thought I was gonna drop it a little bit in my list after my first ride. I don't believe so. After my last year, it was running incredible. I'm gonna go ride Wildfire now because I saw they were running it again while on powder keg. So let's go take another spin on this and then start getting some shots of it because it is sunset after all. Actually, I don't know. I might start getting shots of it now and maybe do a second ride later, but yeah, I need to get some shots of wildfire with the sunset. So yeah, we can kind of see the trees, so let's go. On wildfire is gonna have to wait. I just found out from my brother who is over at Outlaw Run that rode with the ride operator. He said that Outlaw Run is currently going 71 miles an hour when it's supposed to go 68. So it's running too fast, I guess you could say. And if that's the case, I cannot wait to see how fast it actually is in. If I had to guess, it might overshoot the brakes, which in 2020, I only got two rides because it was doing that three times throughout the day. So let's go see if that's true. And uh, That'd be wild to get a crazy overspeed ride on Outlaw Run. So at least uh, maybe get an overspeed ride, but I don't know. Let's go try it out and see how wild it actually is now. Cause I rode four times in a row earlier today and it was insane. So I can't even imagine how much faster it's running now, but I'll find out once I get over there. So let's go meet up with them and take a few rides on this thing. Short line for one of the best rides on the planet. Sign me up any day of the week. Outlaw Run is going so fast. The op that said it was going 71 miles an hour, I don't think it was kidding. Like, that was absurd how fast it actually ran through the course. And uh, apparently row nine is insane because you don't get stapled. So I'll give it a shot and see if that's the case. But that would be hilarious if row nine is not stapled. But I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Did a marathon of Outlaw Run and they delayed the operations that wreck for whatever reason. And Powder Keg is completely dead right now. There's like literally no one in line, and which is crazy. Close. So yeah, I've never seen it like this. Let's try and get a den ride on it, maybe. Did two powder keg night rides in the front row. Both of them were amazing experiences. It was running really fast through the premiere section with the old Budstaff Falls track. 
and it was just an overall blast. And uh, it's weird seeing this whole uh, launch area, I guess you could say a little station or not. It's a but I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's weird seeing it all lit up like this, so this is awesome. And uh, yeah, we got another train coming out of the launch here, so let's take a look at it. Today was an awesome start to the boys at Silver Dollar City. The extreme heat we had today kept a lot of people out of the drive park, and so everything was pretty much a walk on for the most part. And so I was able to pretty much ride whatever I wanted to without having to wait. So, final ride count from today was eight on Outlaw Run, five on Powder Keg, four on Time Traveler, and then one on Wildfire. If this is any indication of how the rest of this vlog is gonna go with the uh, light crowds, and plus with Ellis and Ryan joining me tomorrow, I can only imagine that this already amazing trip can only go uphill from here. So, let's jump to uh, the next day and see what Ryan and Ellis are up to. Made it to the staging area where I will be going straight for Outlaw Run first. I was debating on rope dropping Powder Cave first, but I got five rides on that yesterday. So since I got a couple rides on that, I would go to Outlaw Run and try and get a Zen ride on it. So once the rope drops here, it's gonna be a uh, full speed to Outlaw Run. And I saw Ryan and Ellis were uh, back down the pathway, so they'll be coming up here shortly. Outlaw Run is open and we got the other boys here. We got Ellis, what's up? Yeah. Ryan, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's do this. First train today on Outlaw Run. Ellis and I will take front, Ryan's taking second back. Let's do this. We started our day with uh, two rides on Outlaw Run. I did front and second of back, so did Ellis, and then Ryan did row 9 and row 11. What did you boys think of that? It was intense, man. So aggressive. Yeah. And uh, Ellis, that was your first time riding this since 2017, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah it's been a long time. Yeah, six years. Yeah. And uh, my rides yesterday were ridiculous. And uh, since uh, this is actually your first time here since 2017, you've never done time travel before. Yeah, but I'm about to do it for the first time today, so I'm looking forward to it. Yep, we're gonna go uh, do that after we do a couple more rides on Outlaw right here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> How many inversions does it have? did you think it was fast it was smooth but insane at the same time like i was flying like crazy yeah that ride is unpredictable and actually uh the ride we had it was actually one of the weaker ones i've had because uh we were facing forwards through a lot of the ride it was a uh, not something I was used to, and the car just happened to be rotating to follow the track, which I don't know how I felt about that, but I mean, it was still fun, but definitely not the best ride I've had on it. But still, I would say, uh, really solid. Now, Alice, ultimate question for you. Is this better than Outlaw Run to you? Uh, I think it is today because you think so? it's a brand new experience that I've never had, so I thoroughly enjoyed myself on it. All right, so I guess for now, we'll just say, I guess time travel is your favorite right here, but Outlaw Run may change that later? Yes. I'd say that's solid. So, yeah, yeah uh, two trains uh, about, I don't know, 15, 20 minute wait. Pretty solid. And uh, Ryan and my brother were in line for a summer. We'll wait for them to get off and we'll catch up with us. So yeah, we'll uh, catch up with them once they get off.
Thunderation, what did you guys think of it? <laughs> janky. Janky. That was your first time on it as well, you said? It was janky, but I did love it way better than River Oh yeah, my that's train. definitely true. I would say it's a little better than my, actually quite a bit better than my ride uh, back in November. And uh, we're outside our grandfather's mansion here. This is a weird little attraction here. You ready, Ellis? Ready. Have you ever, you've never been to this, have you? No, I haven't. Yeah, this just a walk, so I guess let's go inside. All right. All right, I'll be uh, getting your first reaction to this for the vlog, because why not? And uh, yeah, this is gonna be crazy. Oh boy. This place is a mess. I'll go first. Yep. And uh rather than that, things aren't looking too crazy, at least right now, but uh yeah, at one point you'll be walking on a uh wait, is this the is this it? Uh no, I don't think this is it, but yeah, this is uh, pretty straightforward so far. Oh geez, my episode to fall. So was that really necessary? Yeah, no kidding, Alice. <laughs> and uh oh my god, oh this is the room I'm talking about. Wait, look at this! We're literally walking uh, on the ceiling. What the heck? Yeah, the turnout looks upside down. Oh, yeah. Do you have a... I can still touch the floor. Bruh. Anyway, I guess uh, downstairs now. Down we go into the basement of the mansion. Oh, yeah, looks like we're going downhill now. Oh, boy. This is crazy. Wow. This is a mess. And uh, there's even more steps, like almost pitch black in here. I can't see anything. I don't want to risk it. Oh geez, I'm gonna slip and fall if I'm not careful. Be careful, boys. It's gonna be a slippery one. And oh geez, I forgot how janky this part is. Oh, this part is a mess. Oh, um, look, it's literally all sideways in here. It's like a weird pool table contraption right here. Look at that. It's weird. Yeah, the whole bed that's sideways. And... Yeah, I'm going up. Uh, what are <laughs> right, you goober? <laughs> oh, you goober. Oh boy. Jeez, yeah, this uh, incline is quite steep. I know, that's what's so funny about this. It's crazy. Grandpa's I spy hole. Don't know what's in there. Probably classified material. And what are you two doing? <laughs> Goobers. Yeah, be careful. It's a little steep incline here. But uh, yeah, I think this is uh, almost the end of it. Uh, what is that like posters on the What's wrong with you two? What are you guys doing? I'm almost slipping and falling now. What is so funny? Find yourself. What is wrong with you? Y'all 
washer bikes. <laughs> oh gosh, no, not the stupid stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, okay, you just break something. <laughs> oh no, we should probably get out of here before someone actually gets injured. But right, man, that is just hilarious. Y'all are madness. Oh, okay, so we're on each side and pull them away. So they Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> and I think we made it out. Yeah. Oh my god. Hurry out, we lost our place. Oh man, that was just crazy. Oh my god. That thing is a like acid trip. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? It's not hollow. What? It's not hollow. It's not hollow. Wait, what are you looking at? This wall. Oh, oh you thought it was hollow, you fools. Yeah. But uh Yeah, that was a definitely a wacky ride. Well I've been why ride but man that thing just nuts yeah definitely just what even is this thing we're gonna try american plunge now on the way to uh wildfire and uh i think we're gonna have this like a special one-off thing for our long competition we've been doing you agree with that Can we do it? sure all right we're gonna try that and see how that is but uh yeah i guess uh you guys will be on that one i'll be on this one so let's see how it goes first time on american plunge since uh, i think my first trip here in 2013 that was actually a lot of fun i didn't get too wet i mean it was like the perfect amount of wins for me uh, how wet did you guys all get? Pretty wet. <laughs> yeah, you took the worst of it, bro. He like definitely, you got destroyed, I think. But yeah, it was close between uh, my brother and then Ryan, but yeah, yeah my brother uh, definitely took the L on that one. So I think now we're going to try Wildfire. I think you're going to do it once or twice, you have to line us in bed. Once or do you want to try to do twice, do front and back? Uh, how about let's do one in front, one in back? Yeah, all right, let's do twice then. Twice in a row, front row, back row. Let's go for it. Yeah. All right, let's go, uh, do wildfire, see how it runs, because yesterday it was running great. It was uh, quite intense, which is not something I remember. So, yeah, let's go do this one. seat on wildfire the first drop was really good but other than that the rest of the layout wasn't overly intense and i actually preferred my ride in the front row yesterday in 2021 i said it was a back row ride now i don't know actually i might be leaning towards it being a front row ride then again i did get uh an evening ride on wildfire in the front and i got a very early afternoon ride in the back so maybe if i uh, did a uh, very front in the morning and back in the evening i'm gonna change my mind but as of now i'm leaning towards it being a front row ride ride on Outlaw Run and that thing is flying. I know I said that yesterday, but it's running so much faster now than it was early this morning. It doesn't quite compare to last night, but then again, it's not even 1.30 yet and the park's been open since 9.30. So as in fully warmed up to my knowledge, but if uh, it gets any faster, which I imagine it will, then this thing's just gonna be shredding it. So overall, Outlaw Run, excellent. <laughs> Now 
now is the time when I'm gonna ride Powder Keg because the Silver Dollar City app shows it at a 15 minute wait right now, which that's great for this ride. So let's go for it and take another ride on this after the five I got yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's a station wait. That's awesome. Powder keg, really solid ride as usual. Don't think I've ever come off of this disappointed. It was uh, really good in terms of uh, the launch and everything. Definitely not the most powerful launch I've done, but uh, the twist and hill at the end there is giving me good air time. Pretty smooth for the most part, except for one of the turns after one of these overbanks. And the whole thing is an absolute blast in my opinion, which is kind of funny because it's called powder keg, a blast into the wilderness. And uh, the thematic elements here with the ride launches, like, it's like oh wait, that's not the off like it was working yesterday and I don't know why it's not working now but there's a green fire effect inside of one of these things I don't know if you guys saw it or not but this thing has got some good gaming elements and it's overall really good right here but it can't compare to Alaron or Time Pellet for me and uh yeah powder keg definitely is our best right here in the park in my opinion See Ryan and Ellis peek it out over there. So they're gonna be on Mr. Griffin's Falls here shortly. And uh, yeah, I'm wondering if they'll be coming down the last few drops here after a while. But I don't know how long it takes for them to get on the ride once they're in that station area. But yeah, they went through all that and the time it took me to ride Allen Run and Powder Keg. So uh, definitely not this. This is a Griffin Rapid Ride. I don't, I don't want to get myself completely so. So yeah, I'm gonna spec hit this one. There's a boat going out there, but I'm not sure whose it is. I'll have to see when it comes back around. but. It might be Ryan, Scott, and Ellis. And I think they're coming down the big drop right about now. Yep, let's see they come. Are they on this one? It does not look like they were. So, uh, yeah, my guess is they'll be on the next one, it looks like. There's one coming down. Is that their boat? Oh, that is Oak Crush. That is them. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez, that was a firing zone. I stopped that little one there. What was that, boys? You got me wet. What the frick? Oh boy, it looks like they didn't get that wet on that compared to uh, uh, American Plunge, but yeah, I took them for the team to get that shot of them. Okay, cool. the whole back row it was good as usual i'm gonna miss that ride when it's closing because this is uh one of my last few rides i'll ever get on it and then i did a uh, powder keg in the second row because ryan and ellis were in the very front it was uh, a little disappointing for me well, actually quite disappointing because the launch wasn't very good and there was one section it was that one little uh valley after that one turn that was like rough it like uh shaking a little bit in the side of the train jabbed in my waist a little bit so that wasn't great but oh not the ride was a uh, it was all right it got some decent air time still but yeah, front row is definitely better. That was my first time not riding it in the front row, so. As you can expect, it's definitely my weakest ride of Powder Keg. And uh, I don't know why, but I'm gonna try American Plunge again, just because that long film is hilarious and I want to give it a go, which, oh, That's the line right here, which uh, I feel like it shouldn't be too, too long, so I might as well give it a go. Rode American Plunge again, and even though I was the only one in the log, I had to sit in the back seat, which was not ideal for me, because uh, I got soaked and uh, not too happy with this log film. So yeah, my shoes got wet, and that's not a fun time at all when that happens. 
So I think to dry off, I'm gonna go take another ride on wildfire. I think I'll do it in the front row this time, because I did the back row last time. So let's do wildfire up front and see how that is compared to my uh, back row ride from uh, early today. Decided to do the back row again because that line had literally no one in it. And then the front row was like a five train wait or something like that. So I'm like, forget it. I'm just gonna ride the back row. Yeah, I'm faster. And I saw the line from the front. Looks like it died down. I'm like, oh yeah, it died down quite a bit. So yeah, now's the time to go over to the front row. So let's go for it. wildfire in the front row just now and earlier today I said that I liked it a little bit better in the front. I retract that statement because I did front and back right after each other when it was fully warmed up and I did find the back to be a little bit more intense so therefore I would say the back is better on this ride. And uh, that's kind of what I thought in my 2021 experience that I preferred the back row over the front row on wildfire and uh, yeah I would still stand by that statement right now. So now I think I'm gonna go over and ride Time Traveler again because the app is showing that at a 10 minute wait and I've only ridden that one once today and I would like to ride a few more times. So let's head that direction. While on the way to Time Traveler, I'm gonna take a ride on Flooded Mine. This is a shooting dark ride that I did not ride for whatever reason last year. I don't think it even crossed my mind. And uh, since the holiday I think was open last year, I should have done that, but I didn't. So yeah, we got Time Traveler right over here. I'll do that after I ride Flooded Mine because I haven't done that one yet. I've done Time Traveler like I think five times. Yeah, I've done five times. So yeah, let's go do Flooded Mine and then go ride Time Traveler. It's a little bit hidden, but yeah, I found Flooded Mine. And it's too bad that this isn't Mystery Mine because in my opinion, Mystery Mine is definitely the best mine themed ride at a Hershey Park. I know that makes it controversial because a lot of people don't really like Mystery Mine. It's one of my favorite rides at the park. Oh, well, it looks like there's no line, so let's go. Did not do too well on it. I think it would have done a lot better if my gun didn't reset or whatever happened to the ride. Like, well, not really happened to the ride, but like, towards the start, like, turn off and then back on. That kind of confused me there, so. Yeah, I was on a roll there. It's like one target right at the very start. Before you even left the station, I was shooting at it. I did really well with that. And I messed up whenever the gun reset and that confused me. I didn't know which one I was using, so. Let's try it again. Flooded Mine just makes me angry a lot of the time. It might be my least favorite shooting dark ride, honestly, or at least one of them, because it's just so hard to score high on. And plus, like, the blaster for me, like, every other boat in the vehicle had their blasters on the whole ride. Mine didn't start until, like, a, like 45 seconds in. I'm like, what the heck? Give me a disadvantage here? This thing is frustrating, but third time's a charm. So let's go do this one more time and then go ride Time Traveler, because I want to do well with this ride. I think I've done better in the past, but I want to see if I can actually get a good ride now. So let's go for it. Something weird about these two scores, the 100,000 digits started counting before the 10,000 digit, so I got 18,200 and 11,800 respectively.
your dream of a time machine is now a reality. It's like you always say, Papa. Dream big. a few more times than I would have thought and I just got some footage of Time Traveler and I did not end up riding it because as I was about to get in line I saw that the sun's starting to go down a little bit so I got to get to Wildfire. Ryan, Scott, and Ellis are over there right now so I'm gonna head over there and catch up with them. And also Ryan recently rode the I think Rowan Mountain Coaster a little bit ago so I'm gonna get his thoughts on that in this vlog as well but yeah let's head over towards Wildfire.
are about to ride American Plunge for the fourth time. I think, well, for me, at least it's fourth. These guys are third. And uh, Ryan, you rode the run with Mountain Coast a little bit ago. What'd you think of it? Uh, so much airtime, good laterals, very good pacing. And it felt like I was going way too fast in the brakes. It yeah. Was, I think I was going so fast that the ride was squeaking. Oh, no. So, yeah. And it was 98 degrees when I rode oh. it. Oh. So, heat conditions. Yeah. I bet. So good. Yeah. So good. And uh, you said you saw like a box turtle fall off of a rock on the lift. So I, so there's some uh, like, so there's a coyote call, there's a turkey call, and there's a, a boar hog or call, uh, and uh, I, I noticed that. So then in between the boar and the coyote, I hear rustling of the leaves. So I look down, see a box turtle, and there's a rock right here, and it just tumbles off of it and just goes. <laughs> Bro. And I'm like, oh no! Yeah, that is just a mess. Poor box too. Yep. And uh, you guys uh, rode Wildfire twice back row in the sunset. How was it running? It was amazing. Alex, what would you think of back row Wildfire and sunset? It was intense back there. It yeah, I saw fun. it. It looked like you guys were flying. Yeah, and the sunset out there was gorgeous. Yeah, but it's not the best sunset I've seen. I mean, you guys have seen the footage, but... The drop pulled negative 0. 0.42 Gs. Was it actually? How yes. do you guys know? Was someone doing a ride forces? Ride forces, Scott. Wildfire. Yeah. Nice. Pretty good. Well, how many positives did you pull? I'm curious. Yeah. That's not terrible for a BNM looper, I don't think. Is it? Is that weak? Weak. It is? A little weaker for a All right. BNM But the negatives were there. Yeah, the drop is excellent. And uh, yeah, one of the better drops I've experienced on a BNM. And uh, better than a certain other BNM hyper that if you guys have known me for a while, then you know that I'm talking about raging. But yep. that's for another day. Let's go ride American Plus again and see how crazy this gets. Uh, oh yeah, we were accidentally almost rocking the boat. Like, Dude, we, we rocked it like that far over. Yeah, I thought we were about to tip the whole thing over. This is pretty funny. Yeah, it was just nuts. So yeah, we're gonna ride this thing again and see how it is. Things are not looking too good for Outlaw Run right now. Uh, apparently someone said that one of the trains broke and maintenance needs to be done on it. So I hope that doesn't mean it's down for the night, but yeah, that's quite unfortunate. So I think Ellis and I, we're going to go ride a powder keg at night because we got to do at least some good night ride. Yeah, I and do want to say that if I don't ride Outlaw Run tonight, I want to try and stay for tomorrow night too. I really want to get a night ride on it. Yeah, that would uh, be interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot you might not be staying here all day tomorrow, but yeah, I'll be a full sense of wait until it happens there. But, uh, yeah, we'll go check out Powder Keg out and see if that's got a decent short line. I gotta hope that one doesn't break, because that'd be horrible if it did. But, yeah, not looking too good for last hour of the night so far. We barely made it to Outlaw Run in time, so we got a powder keg night ride and an Outlaw Run night ride. Let's start with powder keg at night. What'd you think of it? You thought that was your first time riding it at night? Yes, it was. And it fly by, it flew by the whole time, non stop. Yeah, it was crazy. And the launch. I don't remember it really throwing me off guard at night. It did tonight. It was crazy. Like, like we, we launched into the black and all of a sudden it blinds you because it's on our photo. And then suddenly you're going over the air and I was like, what the heck is going on here? It's crazy. Yeah, and the bright moon up there was Yeah, the moon gorgeous. was laying the track. It was crazy. Yeah. And then we rode Outlaw Run at night. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Was it, was it because you remembered? It's better than that. It literally jumped up there as part of my top three favorite night ride. Oh yeah, that, I, that, that reminds me. It's my new number two night ride. Cheetah Hunt, you've been bumped down at number three. That thing is just running freakishly crazy this year. Like, I don't recall it ever running anywhere nearly as insane as this. I mean, time travel is good, but Ella runs still the king here in Silver Dollar City. But, oh my gosh, I was just freaking, ah, I don't even know what to say. So good. Today is one of the most productive days I've ever had at a park and I think ever. I got so much done today. I got six on Flooded Mine, five on Outlaw Run, four on American Plunge, three on Powder Keg and Wildfire, and then one on Fire in the Hole, Thunderation, and Time Traveler. Ellis, what'd you get on today? I got 15 on Outlaw Run. And you were marathoning a little bit while Ryan was at the uh, Run of Mountain Coaster. Yes, I did. And uh, what else did you get on? Uh, one on Time Traveler, one on Thunderation, Two on American Plunge, three on Wildfire, one on Mystic River Falls. Wait, you did two? I did three times. Wildfire? American Plunge. 
Although I did it the third time, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. That's I forgot right. to update it, but that's three on right. American Punch. But anyways, three on Wildfire, one on Mystic River Falls, one on Firefall, one on Fire in the Hole, two on Powder Keg, and two on Flooded Mine. Yep, we got a lot done today. So, uh, yeah. yeah, that was just uh, overall uh, really, really solid. Ryan, what'd you get on today, right Cap? Uh, seven on Outlaw Run, three on Time Traveler, four on American Punch, uh, one on Mystic River Falls, two on Firefall. Did you get Firefall a second time? Yeah. Two on Thunderation, uh, and one on Powder Keg, I think? One on Flooded Mine. And, I, and then Powder Keg, and then Wildfire, I wrote Wait, twice. Powder Keg once. Wait, you did, no, you did it three times, remember? Three times? You, yeah, you did. Okay, three times. And, uh, there reminds me, while you were on Firefall, I forgot to mention this earlier in the vlog, what did you see? RMC track in the new Fire in the Hole structure. Yep. And uh, as of when this is being recorded, uh, Silver Dollar City will have most likely made their announcement by now. But yeah, it's pretty much all but confirmed that they are uh, redoing Fire in the Hole and RMC is rumored to be the manufacturer for it. Yeah, they're RMC and Fire in the Hole. That's like one of the biggest memes, I guess, of the industry for 2023 is they're redoing it. Yeah, this will be very interesting. I, I don't know what this ride is going to be, but yeah. Anyway, uh, today was awesome. Uh, I know you guys are probably not going to be here all day tomorrow, but we'll have to make it. to like 6 or 6.30. Something like that. Yeah. I don't want to stay. Yeah, I, I had a know. blast. Yeah, but at least we got the night rides we wanted to. Do you yeah. want to go home early? I don't know, but anyway, I guess uh, let's jump to day number, uh, full day number two. The weather this morning is quite a bit cooler than it was uh, yesterday, and it feels excellent. I can work with this all day, but the fact of the matter is that it's not going to stay like this, which is quite unfortunate. It's going to be really hot once again. But that's not stopping me. First in line for the rope drop again. Like this time, uh, not many people around here, actually. I got here about 20 minutes before opening, and uh, I'm going to do like I did yesterday and go for Outlaw Run and try and get a Zen ride on it. And as for what Ryan and Ellis are going to do, I don't think they're at Silver Dollar City just yet, so I'm a little early. And I don't know if they're going to rope drop Outlaw Run or if they're going to go for Time Traveler, because I know Ellis wants to ride Time Traveler again, and he only got one ride on it yesterday, and he marathoned Outlaw Run a bunch. So I'll uh, see what they're up to, but my game plan is to go straight for Alaron, try and get his end right on it. And if not, at least get first train of the day on it. So let's head down that way, I guess, once uh, the rope drops here, which is about, I don't know, a little under 20 minutes from now. No one else here? Alaron is open. Prime chance for a Zen ride today. Zen ride on Alaron secured. That's the one I wanted to try for yesterday. Couldn't quite get it because they didn't open on time. They opened it today on time and uh, we got it. So that's pretty solid. And let's go for a round two, what the heck. No one here. I'm like, little one, the only ones here. These guys are on the train. Actually, I'll be able to go to round row 11. Never mind. Rode Outlaw Run three more times after my first Zen ride, and uh, one of them was another Zen ride, so I got two of them. And uh, I don't know why I'm doing this already, but I'm gonna ride American Plunge again. So, yeah, this thing is just it's my new favorite log from now. I originally had uh, La Scoot at Bush Gardens Williamsburg, my favorite. Now this one's my favorite just because of how funny it is. Like the tunnel and everything, we were making all sorts of weird noises. I guess it was crazy. So let's go for it again and then I'll take a uh, ride on Wildfire since I'm right here.
Spitfire front row, and then I did Outlaw Run second to back row, which is row 11. Both are really solid rides. And Ellis, he actually has Trailblazer. I might be getting it later, but Ellis is Trailblazer, and he's going to be riding Powder Keg right now. And I'm going to get some uh, shots of maybe a train going, but yeah, I got a train dropping off right now. Well, there's another one coming to Boston right now. They're crazy fast for ops. So yeah, good job on uh, the team here at Powder Keg, sending out trains quickly. difficulties trying to get the trailblazer because uh, I knew I would probably need it today and uh, yeah the lines are pretty long for the most part I think as of right now so I got that worked out and now I'm gonna go ride time traveler because I haven't done it today and I've only run it five times on this whole trip meanwhile with outlaw run I'm approaching 20 and I've even done powder keg more than time travel I've done like I think eight rides on powder keg and I've only done five on time traveler so I'm gonna go over and hop on time traveler and do a few laps on that and uh, figure out what else to do but I also see what a uh, Ryan and Ellis have also gotten on because I think uh, they also did find the hall, and so I'm gonna get their thoughts on those rides as well. So let's uh, go ride Time Traveler. I did not expect to like row seven more than row eight on Time Traveler. I just got assigned row seven by sheer dumb luck, and sure enough, I thought the drop out of the station was a little bit better in row seven because I don't know what it was about it. The might have been a little bit better, but uh, yeah, overall I was really impressed with it. Now let's go again. <laughs> Even though it's not my favorite in the park, I can see how several people have time traveler as their favorite ride here. Got a front row that time. Some of it's kind of weird. The launches, I happen to be uh, facing forwards for each of them in the front row. So that was just uh, quite the experience there. And uh, I took the zero dribble, like I did like a forwards, like front flip, I guess going through it. It was crazy. So on the second launch, the car behind me, they were spinning like crazy. I'm like, yo, y'all are spinning. So that ride is just insane. And uh, yeah, we're to go again. And uh, yeah, see what other car we get. If we might get a middle car, which middle cars still slap on us. I've done middle car a few times back in 2020, and uh, they're still ridiculously good. So there's really not a bad seat on Time Traveler, which you can't really say that about many coasters these days. But Time Traveler, whether you're in the front, back, or middle, it delivers in every single row. So let's go again. We gotta sign the front car again by sheer dumb luck. Fine, Ellis, what do you guys think? Are you having fun with this one? Yes, we are. And uh, you rode it for in the front car for the first time a little bit ago. How does it compare to the back? Uh... The, the, the dropping out of the station forwards wasn't as thrilling as dropping out back. Oh, that's not even a contest. The back is a riot going yeah. there. Yeah, we went backwards in the back row before down the drop. Right, right. It was right. ridiculous. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, we're going to be riding front car row. Also, you guys have also done a Sunration. What did you guys think of it? You guys did front row on it. How was it? Front row is smoother, but uh, the second airtime hill hits harder in the front. First time hill hits harder in the back. Yeah, I agree with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I might try back a Thunder Racers later, but I don't know, that's pretty really amazing. But uh, yeah, why ride that way? You can ride a mock in the winter. So uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, try this again gonna check powder keg now and uh the silver dollar city app says it's a 10 minute wait i don't know how that's possible honestly i mean time traveler the second floor was uh pretty much completely full you said right ryan yeah well, and the app said it was 15 floor minutes floor. so yeah sometimes the app is completely out of date or inaccurate but i don't know powder keg yeah no that's 10 minutes no freaking way it's more like 20 uh maybe i don't know Ah oh boy. Yeah, yeah, 20, I've waited 20 minutes. Huh. All right, you guys will give it a test and I'll, oh, you're gonna do the Trailblazer? All right, I'll meet you at the end of the launch track. All right, sounds good. All right, so yeah. I'll uh, head over there and uh, catch them on the ride. No, get ready. Powder cake front row was amazing as usual. And uh, that clip where you heard Stormrunner's launch audio, I played a uh, Stormrunner launch audio when Ryan and Ellis were on it. They were uh, second to back row. I don't know if you saw it, but they freaking flew down that launch track. It was just crazy. So now I gotta find out where the Trailblazer line for this thing is. I'm gonna fire the whole again, but I don't know where the Trailblazer line is. So yeah, I'll probably find it. Oh wait, uh, I think this might be it right here. So uh, uh, yeah, I'll go find it.
Soak some water straight to the eye on that one. Since I rode fire on the hole in the front row, I got hit by the splashdown. And uh, yeah, getting some water straight to the eye was uh, not the most comfortable, but yeah, and that might have been my very last ride on it. So if that's the case, then I'm very sad about it because uh, that ride is really good. And uh, I wish it wasn't going, but everything has an end at some point. So I guess this is the end of the road for fire on the hole, at least for me. No, it's still got like, what, a couple months left, but other than that, I mean, that might be my last time riding it. So that's unfortunate. Now I think I'm gonna go get some more shots of wildfire and maybe take another ride on American Plunge because it's so hot outside. Like, if it wasn't as hot out, I wouldn't have done it nearly as much. But because it's really hot out, I'm doing it. So let's go get some shots of wildfire, maybe ride it again, and then do American Plunge as well. back row of wildfire again since I was in the area and I accidentally went into the ride's queue line. I'm like, forget it, might as well ride again while I'm here. And uh, then I rode American Plunge again and there were some other people in front of me, which even though I trailblazed it, there's got some other people out with me. And I thought I was gonna be the only one on the log. And as you can expect, I got absolutely soaked. So that was not fun. My shoes were wet and it's just not great. I could use the fire effect on Mystery Mine or Fire Chaser right about now because both those are really hot. They would probably drive me off quickly, but I think I'm gonna go, I think try Thunderation again and see how that one is and then uh natural i'll figure out what else to do from there Thunderation in the second back row. I forgot how good it was in the back of the train. Quite a bit smooth in the front, and I don't know which I prefer actually, front or back. They're both uh, really close for me, so that was really solid. And I think now I'm gonna go down towards, I think Outlaw Run and ride that a few more times. I've only ridden that uh, four times today, and I'm gonna do it a few more times. So let's head down that direction. Oh, she's
just walking towards Outlaw Run, and I ran into Grand Exposition Coaster. And uh, Ryan, you said this was your first coaster, is that correct? This is my first roller coaster. Yeah. And uh, else, we just got you the credit. What do you think of that? I mean, how can I answer this? Like. I guess I'm not a huge kiddie coaster fan since I'm already big, but that's totally I'm understandable. Happy I still, not everyone is. I'm not happy everybody I'm is. Still hey. got the credit at least. Yep, you got the credit. And on the bright side, I think that was, we all got a par completion today. Actually, Brian and I, we've ran everything in the past, but I think I don't think you've ridden that before today. No, it was my first time running this ride. I think because I've only been at Silver Dollar City in 2017, oh. and I obviously haven't got to that one. Okay, so I guess oh, there we go then. So I guess we got that done. Yeah. So, uh, where to now? Do you guys want to go, like, try Outlaw Run, maybe? Yeah, we were still trying to go back to that. Well, we kept, keep uh, not getting around to it, so let's head to the yeah. right now. Yeah, uh, let's go for it. We're going for uh, Outlaw Run. Yeah. And I'll uh, come back and get some footage of this uh, at a later date. Looks like we got fire in the hole 2.0 construction going on behind this fence. And uh, in front of me here, inside this fence, that's the show building that we're talking about. And uh, it looks like we got some supports over there. So looking like uh, we might be getting some progress out of this ride. Not sure when it'll open though. Sometime next year if I had to guess, which that's what it's supposed to be opening, obviously. But yeah, who knows? Outlaw Run front row a little bit ago, and that thing is on another level of insane. Ridiculously fast pacing, double layout, strong airtime, and I know it was going way faster than what I remember because I don't know if this is correlated or not, but my guess is that it is. But the brakes were like uh, slamming the train like really hard to stop at one point, and then they kept going. And it only did that for a couple trains, and then pretty much after I rode, it stopped doing that for whatever reason. So I don't know why it just randomly stopped doing that, but yeah, Outlaw Run was just ridiculous. <laughs> And now I know Ryan, my brother Scott, and Ellis are up at time travel right now, so I'm gonna go up there after a while and meet up with them. But uh, yeah, Ella Run's running really good. We just rode American Plunge twice in a row, and unfortunately, that might be the last ride that all four of us will be doing together because I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but that is a bad thunderstorm coming in, according to the radar. Ryan and Ellis, they uh, got here a little late, so they actually are gonna get on the road and head back home a little bit early, but. Yeah. Did you guys have fun though? We had fun. Yes, we did. So, what was your highlight of the of the trip? Outlaw Run night rides. Outlaw Run night rides. My yeah. two were marathoning Outlaw Run while Ryan was doing the 
the Alpine Coaster. And right. the second one was when you and me did those night rides last night. Yeah, Powder Cake and Alaron, those two night rides we got were great. Also, getting your first ever experience on Time Travel was also great, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So, Elsie, if you had to think about a way to rank all the coasters in the park now that you've done all of them, how would you rank them? All right, uh, Outlaw Run, Time Traveler, Mystic Falls. How about coaster wise, but Mystic Falls? Oh, okay. Uh, Outlaw Run, Time Traveler, Powder Cake. Uh, fire in the hole, wildfire, thunderation. And the great actors, well, you like fire in the hole more than wildfire. Uh, and so that's I love the darkness of fire in the that's hole. That's respectable. Okay. And that's respectable. splash down at the end. That's understandable. Fire in the hole, it's, it's a legend. It's going to be soil this, but I feel like everybody. And uh, Ryan, how would you rank all the coaches here? You and I might have the same list, so let's see. Allo Run, Time Traveler, Powder Cake, Wildfire. Thunderation, Fire in the Hole, Grand Exodus, Chicago. Yep, that's a, exactly how I have it ranked. So, uh, yeah, I think these guys are going to be getting some cinnamon bread and then uh, heading out of here. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, Ellis, Ryan. It was awesome to have you guys that come join us here at Silver Dollar City. It was great. It was great. I love yeah. it. Yeah, we might be doing another special edition of The Boys at So and So Park. Like, we might be doing several of them at Six Flags Little Times, but that was like a very special, I guess different edition of it, you could say. I mean, it's like this is the first vlog I'm telling it, the boys at so-and-so park. And then we might do the boys at Holiday World over Labor Day weekend on that Saturday. So you guys might be seeing that. But if not, then uh, we'll figure out something else. But uh, yeah, it was uh, cool having Ryan and Alice here. And uh, even though they have to get on the road early, I'm going to stay in some closing. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Well, plus it's not as close. I was going to try riding Flooded Mine, but that is also close due to weather apparently. So... I guess I'll go check Outlaw Run and wait for that to open because if uh, the rain is going to hit, which it somehow hasn't hit yet, but it looks like it can start downpouring at any minute, I want to get to Outlaw Run because that thing with the tracks are slippery is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to go down there and wait for that one to open and then get a few rides in on it. just rode fire in the hole in the back row and there was one part of that ride that actually kind of terrified me a little bit it was the section with the train light that comes on right before the second drop that didn't turn on for whatever reason so it was uh kind of terrifying like plunging into darkness when i'm used to having that train light go off like and so i didn't even see it coming so that made the drop even crazier and uh that was my last ride on fire in the hole but it was a great memorable last ride that's for sure and uh yeah powder cake isn't open i don't think anything else is open besides fire in the hole so yeah that's unfortunate but i'll have to make do with whatever i got so i might as well get some shots of powder cake like trailer picture i guess you'd say while waiting for this weather to clear up and then maybe go over to uh outlaw run once it reopens you have got to be kidding me it's gonna be a gorgeous sunset tonight and none of the coasters are open so i can't film or photograph any of them that's just ridiculous great the sunset is gorgeous today so that's just frustrating oh my gosh everything's like all yellow and orange there was a rainbow up there a little bit ago i don't think it's up there anymore but man that's frustrating i can't get onto the wildfire observation deck to get some photos of it so that's very very unfortunate but i at least gonna go over and uh get some powder cake photos and then try and get to outlaw on before the sunset i guess because, i mean it, look at how creepy this looks i mean Look at that. I mean, it's kind of see on camera, but it does so much better in a person. Uh, and I'll put some pictures over the screen right now. Like you'll see some of the ones those are I took. I took some of those with uh, wildfire in the sunset a few minutes ago. I'm going to go over to Powder Cane and get some photos. I mean, this is just crazy. I mean, come on. Gotta love Missouri weather. Just found out that we got about 10 minutes or so until time travel opens up for my brother. And oh my gosh, Outlaw Run looks so good. So I'm gonna get a couple sets of photos of this, then get back to Wildfire if that's the case. And the photos I got of Outlaw Run and Powder Cake were phenomenal, so here's some of those as well. Well, um, I can't let you out. I just had a lady test me out a minute ago. I only wanted a couple of train pictures of Wildfire, and they were taking way too long to send out the train, so I'm just like, forget it. I'm gonna go check uh, Powder Keg out now and see if that's back up running, which I haven't heard it run, so I don't think it's open. And that would be unfortunate if that and Outlaw Run were close for the night. Because I want to get at least one more on Powder Cake to get me up to 10. And then I would want to get at least one more on Outlaw Run to put me up to 20. So as long as I can get on both those at least one more time before the other night, then I'll be good. So I'm going to go check out uh, Powder Keg and see if it's open. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to Outlaw Run. And then maybe check out Powder Keg later. First time getting double digits on Powder Keg 
during a silver dollar city trip. I just got my 10th ride on it. And now I'm gonna go down to Outlaw Run and see if I can get at least one more if I can. Now, has it reopened since the weather? I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. So uh, let's go take a look at it. Decided to stop riding Outlaw Run after just one ride because we wanted to get our last ever ride on fire in the hole. And there's no one here. So we might be getting as a Zen ride, which, oh, we definitely are. It looks like, yeah, you and I, we're gonna get a whole separate car, just us two. Let's go for it. Well, that does it for fire in the hole. That was me and my, my brother's last ride. I was in the front, you were in the back. Yeah. What'd you think? Golf for hitting pretty good. It's gonna be sad to see that go. Yeah. No, we were in a uh, silent hole ride, and then on the final drop, we like saluted it because it was, it was only fitting to do it. You know what I mean? And uh, where are you going? Yeah, American Plunge is this way. So yeah, we're doing two more rides on American Plunge, and uh, yeah, those will probably be our last few rides here. And uh, yeah, let's end up the trip by getting destroyed by that ride. Silver Dollar City. Final ride count was seven on Outlaw Run, six on American Plunge, five on Time Traveler, three on Fire in the Hole and Grand Exposition Coaster, two on Powder Cave and Wildfire, and one on Thunderation. As for the total ride count over the whole time here at Silver Dollar City, it was 20 on Outlaw Run, 10 on American Plunge, Powder Cave, and Time Traveler, six on Flooded Mine and Wildfire, four on Fire in the Hole, three on Grand Exposition Coaster, two on Thunderation and one on Grandfather's Mansion. And even though that's not exactly a ride, it is an attraction, so I did decide to count it for a ride count. Overall thoughts on this trip to Silver Dollar City. It was an awesome experience. Way better than my visit last November, and it was just uh, awesome. Getting to ride Outlaw Run 20 times over the time I was here. Powder Keg was probably the biggest highlight of the trip, honestly. Well, actually, in terms of coaches, that was, but, but it was running ridiculously good after the rides I got in 2020 and 2021, which those were good, but this year was even better. And uh, getting to ride Time Traveler with Ellis for his first time was also great. And uh, of course, getting my last ever rides on Fire in the Hole, which I'm gonna miss that ride. The revamped version, I guess, Fire in the Hole 2.0 has some uh, big shoes to fill, with that being such an iconic attraction in the original. And uh, Thunderation was good, Wildfire was solid, going through Grandpa's Mansion was a blast, and it was overall just a great time. And that concludes the boys at Silver Dollar City. Before you click off of this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. Be sure to share with someone else. Right now. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, I will be going to Kings Island next. So stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later.